Throughout her career, Donna Reed was known for playing upbeat and positive characters, both on TV and in movies. And because of those roles, she really did become known as America's TV and movie sweetheart. So why, oh why, were Donna's final years filled with hurt and anger? Well, give me a few minutes and I'll explain. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. So with that said, let's get rolling. Here's where I remember Donna best. The Donna Reed Show starred Donna as a middle-aged housewife named Donna Stone. Carl Betts played her doctor husband and Shelley Fabre and Paul Peterson were their teenage children. That show was a huge hit airing on ABC for eight seasons. It's weird because when I watched reruns of this show as a kid, I didn't connect the dots and recognize that Donna was in one of my all-time favorite movies. Yep, we're talking about It's a Wonderful Life. Although that movie, when it was originally released, received mixed reviews and was unsuccessful at the box office, Later on, it became a classic Christmas film after it fell into the public domain which allowed it to be broadcast ad nauseum without paying royalty fees. Well, at least until Republic Pictures was able to successfully recapture that copyright. But that's a story for another day. All I want to say now is that Donna Reed was great in that movie. Of course, Jimmy Stewart was wonderful as well, but this is a video about Donna. Still, it's good that we're talking about this movie and Mr. Stewart a bit because another player in this story appeared in a movie with Jimmy Stewart as well. I am talking about Barbara Bel Geddes, who starred with Jimmy Stewart in the 1958 Alfred Hitchcock film Vertigo. Yep, without Midge, oops, I mean Barbara in this story, Donna might have left this world a much happier person. Alright, I think I've set things up enough here. Let's get to the crux of this story. You see, Barbara, during the late 70s and into the 80s, was starring in a massively popular TV series on CBS called Dallas. You guys all remember that one, right? On that show, she starred as the matriarch of the Ewing clan, Miss Ellie. However, during the seventh season of that show, it was discovered that Barbara would need quadruple bypass heart surgery, and as a result, Barbara decided to step down from the role, and you guessed it, Donna took over as Miss Ellie. I believe the contract that Donna signed was for three seasons in the role. However, after Barbara's health began to improve dramatically after her surgery, the network executives at CBS, well, they persuaded the production company Lorimar to bring back Barbara as Miss Ellie. And this was all a huge shock to Donna in a nutshell. Laura Marr said they would continue to pay her, but her services as Miss Ellie, they were no longer needed. So Donna sued to be reinstated on the show as Miss Ellie. Truthfully, I don't believe this was ever about money. This was about pride. Donna was hurt and angry over the way that she had been treated. Yep, America's TV sweetheart felt cast aside and unappreciated by the cast and crew of Dallas. Ultimately, Donna did not prevail in court. And there is some irony about all of this in that Donna did not even live long enough to have been able to fulfill her three-year contract. You see, she would succumb to pancreatic cancer on January 14, 1986. She had only been diagnosed with the dreaded disease three months earlier. Unfortunately, when it was discovered, the cancer had progressed too much and she was informed that it was terminal. Such a tough way to go both physically and due to all of the craziness going on with her time on Dallas emotionally as well. So this, my friends, is how I prefer to remember Donna. Much happier times hanging out with one of the all-time greats. So do you remember that whole Miss Ellie mess on Dallas? And do you think they did the right thing by bringing back Barbara Bel Geddes? Let me know in the comments section. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and what the heck, why not subscribe to my little YouTube channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.